Hey guys, this is Janice B and Ian. For all of you who are just new to my channel and you wanted to learn more of YouTube tips and tutorials, please do consider to subscribe and um, hit the like button and of course the notification bell so you'll be updated with my videos and also if you can please share my videos to your community, I will truly appreciate that. So we will be able to share the right information to the right audience and most of all, we try to build a community where we'll be able to help each and every creator to have the right information to write to have all the um, relevant sources for them to be able to know what needs to be done in this situation where you need to address some issues in your YouTube channel so I hope the next one I wanted to address is that I've been reading this post about Google Ads um, email to the creators where it states that they will disable your Google Ads account because of there was no money spent into that account Google Ads is different from Google Adsense it doesn't have any connection with your income with regards to Google Ads Google Ads is a, um, a advertising placement of Google and Google Adsense is where advertisers place your um, their ads in in any of the creators content and they pay us through the Google Adsense that's a two different um, platforms Google Ads and Google Adsense it has nothing to do with each other Google Ads you pay to advertise your content or your channel Google Adsense they will pay us for um, placing their ads through our videos I hope that's very very clear and you don't have anything to worry because if you haven't spent anything for the past how many days or how many months in your Google Ads meaning you haven't advertised any of your videos in Google Ads what they do is to deactivate that account but um, definitely you can still activate that in the future or in time that you wanted to make a placement of any of your um, videos to uh, be advertised or to have um, more of advertising stage and where when you see any email coming from Google AdSense it's different Google Ads and Google AdSense Google AdSense is where you are going to earn your income now I wanted to take you to a much deeper um, understanding with your Google AdSense at the moment if you remember we have received an email last September that starting December we will not be able to see more of in-depth report of our income in Google AdSense you have to go through your analytics and for you to be able to understand your SEO your algorithm your all anything about your analytics in your YouTube analytics section um, if you are, are going to go to your Google AdSense at the moment you will not see anything as yet until your income is verified and you will see that um, this is the date where you will be paid for your last month income remember that Google AdSense will only pay for all those verified um, uh, Google Ads in your content remember all this any super chats super stickers membership or your um, Google Ads clicks and impressions it will be paid by Google Adsense and um, they will verify it first before it will be processed okay with regards to say clicks and impressions I've already explained that last week in my video that impressions are when your thumbnail will be um, seen or will be placed in the home section in the subscription section or in the trending section or in the next play section and when any viewer will click that that's the time where you will be paid for your click to rate or click through rate of your um, thumbnail remember that um, YouTube always um, remind us not to do any click to click or anything that is um, invalidate our impressions or our clicks invalid clicks or impression thus really matter to each of the creator because you will not be able to justify yourself oh I've just made that by mistake or I've just clicked that or for me to be able to gain more or to earn more of that specific video I wanted to watch my own video remember you as a creator of course you can watch your own video but you have to skip ads for you not to have an invalid traffic through the content of that video because obviously you wanted to have more placement or you wanted to see oh, okay if I'm going to do click to click. remember even if you do click to click they will be able to verify because the um, 
the source of the click to click is coming from one IP address alone. So when they will see that, when they will try to verify the source of that income, and it's coming from just one source, and what it what will it happen? What will happen is that you will receive a notification that you have an invalid clicks, and once uh, you overdo and on, you receive um, a lot of you know um, activities like this. Bear in mind that you will receive first a warning and then first a strike, second strike and all this. Um, but I will be discussing all this strike in a different a live streaming. But I just want to remind all of you that of obviously we as creator, we are not allowed to, um, to ask our viewers to watch our ads or to click our ads because it is again a violation we are not allowed to um you know to advertise so please watch my ads or please do, uh wag nyong i skip yung ads and all this we are not allowed to do that that is a violation again when you come across with violate um violating a page or violating any of your um any of the guidelines you have to bear in mind what have you done for the past three months or the past uh um, past month or past week you just have to remember what happened before you try to appeal for any of your violation okay they will send a warning message what happened or um what's going on with your um with your content or with your channel and you have to bear in mind that you really have to be a um responsive with any of the email coming from youtube because it is very important that you make an action right then and there so as a creator you always have to check or to um to visit your analytics that's the reason why um we cannot see any more of a detailed report in our google adsense you have to go to your analytics i always remind myself to check my analytics every single day especially when there is some um activities that is not so uh, regular or i would say a very um parang kakaiba na activity doon sa channel ko because um being a responsible creator you always have to check the accuracy of all of your activities for example you nakita mo na lang bigla na lang siyang dumami yung iyong uh, subscribers count you have to know the source of your subscribers count otherwise uh, minsan sasabihin nila, ba't biglang lumaki tas bigla namang mawawala remember that any of um, inflation um, in any of your views, subscribers and any of your activities in YouTube once it's be verified and they will see the source of all this invalid traffic you will be able to see na ah dito pala siya galing ah kaya pala to dumami bigla naman siyang nawawala because the source of that in, source of that for example you do sub for sub or you yeah, sumali kayo sa mga paangat and what happened in the paangat is that there was a big inflation of numbers in your subscribers and then suddenly um YouTube will be able to verify the source of this and it's coming from um a certain um a link that was dropped in a particular live streaming and then a lot of uh, you know channel syempre uh, nagpapaangat nga ganyan and they will be able to click that that is the source of um, the subscribers count and then there was one issue as well when there was a massive dropping of um, numbers of your subscribers because Dun nga, dun sa, na you always um, post the link of your channels or the link of your videos in different streamers or different live streamers. And we all know that already as a violation from the very beginning that all this maangat started. We know that once they drop the link of your channel, once they drop the link of your um, several times, once is enough or one live streamer or one promoter is enough. But if you're going to do it again and again and again and several, um, and several promoters will do it, for you definitely it will fluctuate and you will not be able to see the fluctuation right then and there this fluctuation will happen after 48 hours it may freeze it may fluctuate or whatever will happen in your um analytics this will be after the verification verification um timeline of 48 hours so if any of these policies and you repeatedly violation violating this and it will go beyond 
you know, act and you haven't done any action to rectify all this. Obviously, you will get suspension or you will get your channel deactivate, um, demonetized because any of this that you have received the warning already and there was no action um, from your end, then sasabihin ni YouTube, ah, you've done this. Ikaw yung may kagagawan dito. May alam ka sa nangyayari sa channel mo. You remember when uh, one time, I've already shared this with you, I was under human review for several months because of what happened to my channel. And uh, to tell you honestly, hindi ako makatulog noon because anything na pinakirapan ko, masakit yan pag nawawala. Because anything that you really work hard for and suddenly just because of one false move or one false, one action of the unknown, uh, kasi it's out of your hands eh, parang ganyan. But that's the reason why every live streamer, I really said this, please look after the uh, stream health of your live streamer be streaming because that you will see the the stream um graph uh, how are you gr how are your number of subscribers going because you will see from the participant ko konti lang siya tapos ang dami dami dun sa viewers you will see this as an invalid traffic because you tried to inf um there was an inflammation of number of viewers in your views but um definitely kapag di ba pag marami kang viewers marami ka din dapat income with regards to your um, uh, views but walang ganon wala siyang source of income so definitely um, the source of this um, number of views were coming from a bot uh, for, for, from my computer or from automated um, machine parang ganon parang ATM lang siya but you have to make sure that you are not doing this in a severe um, talagang, uh, violation because depending on the violation, either you get suspended or you get your channel demonetized. So, what are the sources of this para hindi natin um, makaligtaan na meron pala tayong sinusunod? Um, there were some channels na paulit-ulit before they get they get monetized is paulit-ulit nilang nag-upload sila ng mga TikTok or anything that is um, small clips from different platforms. Remember that reuse content, they will not allow you to, to get monetized. Or if you are continuously uh, trying to use reuse any of the content of other creator, definitely makaka-receive kanya ng warning or magkakaroon sila ng copyright issues but again, you have to make sure that what you are uploading is your own creation, your own unique creation because at the end of the day you're not gonna be like parang ah, bigla ka sumikat din because of uh, the content that you have, that you are not making sure that your um, YouTube uh, channel as a whole hindi ko sinabi isa lang as a whole is not in compliance with any of the guidelines of YouTube definitely there will be some na either masuspend ka or either ma demonetize ka or ma close talaga yung account there's always a high risk involved kahit na sabihin mo ko konti lang yai saglit ko lang naman kinuha you know I've I've used some of the yung sinasabi ko kahapon that yeah akin yung creation akin yung buong content but the music I am not owning it so there's no point of me uh, getting a lot of views. I get the ten thousand views, but I'm not gaining. I'm not gaining from it. So what's the what's the use of me? And I will be the in a risk where I will be getting any copyright strike or copyright issues with it. So it's better to uh, to play safe. That you are using your own creation. You are using your own um, ideas to make the whole content of that particular upload. So uh, there's no use of you uh, taking any. Parang sabihin mo na la, medyo may risk nga, but uh, sikat naman ako or, or marami naman akong view, so who cares but depende rin sa inyo kung ano yung gusto niyo sa channel niyo but um, I would really encourage each and everyone who's listening to me right now to use your own creation, to use your own ideas because come to think about the continuous um, you know, uploads that you're gonna have, eventually you will be losing some ideas kasi naubos na, nakakokopya mo nakakokopya mo, or kagagaya mo or, and all this, we have to be a responsible creator where we are really um, accountable for each of our uploads, wag mo sisihin sa ganito kasi ginawa niya naman eh, wala naman nangyari sa account niya, pero may nangyari sa'yo you cannot do a blame game in our YouTube channel because at the end of the day, it is your own responsibility 
responsibility because you own it at the end of the day, right? So you have to make sure that you know your boundaries, you know your limitations, you know your responsibility because um, one thing for sure, you wanted to have um, an income at the end of the day. Just to be uh, super uh, blunt with it, na parang, okay, business ko to, income ko ang, ang nakasalalay dito. So, why why do I have to use somebody else's um, content para lang kumita? At at the end of the day, hindi ka na naman kukita kapag may copyright issues ka, di ba? Either kalahati lang ay bibigay sa'yo or wala talaga. So, depende rin sa may-ari ng isang creation. So, I hope that you've learned from that in this second um, clip. And uh, I hope na... Uh, slowly, slowly, mas maiintindihan natin kasi we have to take this in a very uh, serious mode. Kasi napaka-importante na mamintin natin yung quality of our um, channel. And again, alam ko it's out of our hands but it is your responsibility to take care of the health of your channel um, from the very beginning. Uh, from the time na siguro gumisi ka, you have to check, oh, there's something wrong with my videos. Can I, uh, you have to do a responsive um, action. That's what YouTube wants us to do. Anything that is irregular, anything that you think something is wrong, especially when you're doing a live streaming, when some, that something happened, put it down and report it directly to YouTube that this is what's happening in my YouTube channel. Something is wrong. So, YouTube will see that you are so responsive creator. You know what is your responsibility in when uh, things like this um, occurred in your YouTube channel. So, you have to make sure that you safeguard your channel first before anybody else because it's so hard to fix any violation because kapag pinatagal mo pa yan, parang hinayaan mong na maga yung sugat before mo pa pinagaling or natetanos ka na, hindi mo pa rin, wala pa rin nangyayari or nakagat ka na ng aso, hindi ka pa rin nagpa anti-rabies. Alam mo yan, you have to ensure that everything, all the policies are in place before anything else kasi hey, madali lang naman mag-upload eh, madali lang naman gumawa ng mga na mga videos only if you are really passionate about it if you are really um, into your YouTube channel that at the end of the day you're just enjoying what you do because you really love what you're doing and at the end of the day what matters the most to you is your commitment your passion your focus your you're so driven and um, you always make sure that my safeguarding pagdating sa lahat ng angulo ng inyong YouTube channel I hope that uh, that is the second part of uh, our discussion for tonight and uh, let's have a coffee break. Thank you.